Okay, this is going to be a video tutorial on how to set up and run a Ventrilo server from your home computer or your home server. Okay, first you're going to need to go to Internet Explorer or your web browser. Go to ventrilo.com. Go to download. And you're going to need the Ventrilo client, which allows you to connect to a Ventrilo server. You're going to download the Windows version if you're using Windows, or Mac OS X if you're using Mac, but, you know, this is not a Mac tutorial, so. Okay. And here's your servers. You need to download this, enable to have a Ventrilo server, obviously. So I'm going to download the Windows, uh, the Windows version. I've already downloaded it, but I'll download it again, so this will be an easy to follow tutorial. Okay. When you're at the server setup, click Next, accept the agreement, your name and all that, destination folder, and it's going to go ahead and install. Shouldn't take too long. No, it takes about two seconds. Okay, now just delete the uh, setup, empty your cycle bin. You're gonna click on uh, VentServe, and you're gonna click on Ventrilo Server. Actually, edit your INI file, file first. Okay, this is your INI file, which is basically the configuration file. Like it is the configuration file. So this is what you want your server to be named. I'm gonna make mine. Colton's video tutorials. And the fanatic is going to be the same exact thing, so I'm just going to copy it. Okay, your port. I don't suggest uh, changing your port number, as you're using a free uh, a free server to do this. You can set your admin password. Mine will be Dell 01473. And here, your, this will be your server password. Which this will make it where you whoever tries to connect they have to enter a password to connect. So I'm I'm not really gonna do that because at max clients you can't edit it. You cannot edit it because it's a uh, free version and only eight connections can be uh, connected to one server. Um, all this other stuff is really I don't ever use it. Your voice codecs you um I think they range from zero to three. But you, I think you have to do some research on that on your own. Silent Lobby, um, that's just, yeah, don't, and change it from 0 to 1. So you will have a Silent Lobby, so people can't just hang out in the lobby, they have to come to a channel. And uh, all this, it's for um, Ventrilo paid servers, like, this is not available in the free version, that's why it's all like that. Got the uh, numeric symbols. What you're going to do is you're going to save this, close that, go back, go to event serve, and run your server. As you can see, it's got accepting all the connections, so everything's good and it's ready. And you're going to open up Ventrilo, which you should already have installed. And uh, what you're going to do, minimize this, go to start and run, go to type in cmd and then ip config and get your ip this is your remote ip if you're running through a router i mean local ip if you're running through a router sorry about that um okay now you're going to go to ventrilo and you're gonna you're gonna put your what you see in ip address in here And it was port number 3784. And then go OK. And then see if you can connect. If you connect successfully just like that, then everything's working. But here's the part that gets a little bit trickier, but not really. You have to forward your ports on your router if you're running through a router, which most of us probably are. So you're going to go to Internet Explorer minimize it for a minute go to run cmd 
ipconfig, and your default gateway is usually your router's uh, IP. So I'm going to go to my Internet Explorer and type in that, what I see right here. So I'm going to go 192.168.1.1. Yours will probably be the same thing. Your uh, username, you should already know. And if it's a Linksys router, by default, it's already the username is admin and password is admin. Click on applications and gaming if you're using a uh, Linksys router like I am. Type in your application name. It doesn't have to be exact. It's just VintServe. You're gonna your ports that need to be opened are 3784 and 3784. That's just and protocol is UDP, but it's just safer to go with both. And um, right here on the, this pre this uh, prefix right here, this IP right here matches. Your IP address needs to be in there. Your local IP. So if yours was like 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, you would put it in there. And you click the little box, Enable. Save settings. Settings are successful. Okay, everything's good. Okay, now close that. Close this. And everything should be working. Um, give somebody your IP, which you need to get from what is my IP.com get your IP and then give your IP to somebody else and give them the port number so they can connect to your server um, I blurred out my IP because for just for security reasons but usually nothing happens if you you know give it give it to your trusted friends or something but disconnect everything should be up and running and that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you.